Hey guys, Robert here, and this is the Mark III Suppressor, and this was a collaborative build between myself, Lloyd Isaac, and Mother Love 777. Uh, the weapon and arms comes from Lloyd Isaac, and the idea for the legs comes from Mother Love 777, and then the uh, missile package and chest were my idea, and then the head was just collectively agreed upon, except Lloyd really likes this head, the cat head, the rusty one, but this one's just <laughs> better, so we're using this. So, tip to butt, pulse armor. Um, like most builds, armor is the most flexible option. Uh, it really switches the dynamic of the game. Uh, if you pop armor first, you're a little bit in trouble, but if you can save it, make the other guy blow his expansion before you, um, pulse armor comes out, now you're ahead. Uh, same thing if they have assault armor. If they pop assault armor, you can counter it with pulse. It's just all around a good choice. Uh, VP20C, this is a pretty lightweight generator compared to the rest of them. See, it's, it's the same weight as the Yaba and the Aorta, similar enough, right? Um, difference of, I guess this is a difference of uh, a thousand, but this is only a difference of 300 points, right? Uh, and the next highest up is 500 and so on. Um, and But the really, the key factor here is the post recovery EN supply. This compared with a high upwards thrust generator allows you to perpetually stay in the air. Um, and we have the RJs as well for when we do want to touch down and get some regen, we can get back into the air really quickly. And we have a kick as kind of like a uh, a dissuasion of getting aggressive on us because we can just kick them and then bounce away and go back up into the air. The Walt chip, man, we've tried uh, Talbot and we tried uh, P05 and really uh, every time we just kept coming back to the Walt because your shots just land with the Walt, man. Um, something about the Walt and these arms, it's a good combo. Uh, you hit your shots. Uh, it, I know it's re really subjective. It's hard to tell, but this is what we found works best for us. So we're using the Walt. NGI, so you may be wondering, hey, if this is an aerial build, why not use the Gridwalker? That's because, let's compare the Gridwalker, man. You're slower. Uh, by, by, I mean, it's only four points, but still, you're slower. Um, you only get 300 points of upper thrust. It is a little cheaper, but we're not concerned about in consumption here because we're trying to redline our generator. We just keep, we keep getting back our energy. Um, your QB thrust is worse. You have a lower jet duration, so you don't go as far. That's a really big deal in the air. Um, it is a little cheaper, but again, not worried about in consumption. The reload time is worse, and the weight is worse. So our QB goes from 0.63 to one whole second with Gridwalker. Terrible. Uh, you lose all your maneuverability. You, all you get is up and down. Uh, your assault boost slower, but your assault boost cheaper. But again, we don't care about EN because we, we get so much back on the recovery from Redline. Um, and your melee attack is better, but we're not using a melee weapon. So NGI is just better all around, unless you only want to go up and down. But we want a quick boost and maneuver, man. And the NGI in the air is crazy. That, that jet duration really comes into play. Uh, my beta legs, like we said, we want to get back in the air quickly, and we want to have that kick as an anti-aggressive option. How arms, um, when you fire consecutively, man, uh, and consecutively, I mean at the same time, right? You don't stagger your shots. You have perfect recoil control. And I'm going to tell you guys now, do not stagger your shots. And I'm going to put a clip in right now to show you why you don't want to stagger your shots. Roll clip. that clip or we're gonna move on but as you can clearly see in that video staggering your shots gives you much worse recoil control and if uh, you know it took three mags and the guy didn't even die in that clip but with uh, firing at the same time it was two and a half mags and the dude was done right so don't stagger your shots bp 40 s chest this is a really good lightweight option so if we look at the things that are in a similar class um, you could run this but you're losing nine points of speed and your boost efficiency goes in the toilet you go from 102 to 95 um, this is statistically better, but we're trying to maneuver here. That's really what we're looking for. And I, I know we don't really care about in consumption, but when when you get a, a 
one less quick boost out of your bar, you're going to feel it, right? Because um, we still want to work within our bar with what we have. Uh, we're not concerned about consumption, but quick boost is something you really don't want to run dry on. You want to have as many boosts as you can in the air. Um, Basho, this just nukes your supply efficiency. It goes to 1600, terrible. Uh, Melander, uh, pretty good option, but you lose out on some efficiency and some supply. The supply is a big one. You go down to 97, you're going to feel that too. This is not a big capacity generator in the first place. Um, so a little better statistical performance, uh, but you're also really losing it on that energy defense, which is a big deal, man. Um, this thing has quite a bit of energy defense, 1227 in its standard configuration, which is a lot. Um, look at the other option, Melander C3, statistically worse, and you're really only getting one point in booster efficiency and supply adjustment, which is not worth the rest of the stats. The explosive resistance is nice, but we're not worried about bombs because we're in the air. They're going to be way harder to hit us. Uh, ephemera, don't, don't even bother, man. We're not using lasers. We don't need this thing. Crawler, again, don't even bother. This thing sucks. Jailbreak, need I say more? And when we get into here, man, um, a little bit better stats, but we run into the same thing. Like, uh, the speed we gain, we gain seven points of speed at, uh, at what cost, right? Seven points of speed at the cost of our AP, all of our defenses, our stability. We're already low on stability due to the legs, man. So it's like, pick your battles. This thing, this thing sucks. It has some applications, but man, 89 supply adjustment really hurts on this freaking generator. You will feel it and you'll know. Um, and the stats kind of suck too. Knock dry hair, it's an option, man. It's not the worst in the world because uh, we're, we're not really concerned about uh, supply efficiency because we're redlining. Don't get me wrong, supply efficiency, really nice to have even when you're trying to play redline. Um, but, you know, it's just, it's not it, man. We, we don't need that much supply, right? It's like, it's two extremes, right? Like, this is like, man, you don't got dick for supply. This one's like, you got all the supply, you got all the supply in the world. But this right here is a nice middle ground where you have decent all-around stats and you're really freaking tanky. So I know the core is kind of like a complicated pick, but trust me, guys, I think if you're trying to fit a core on an AC uh, and you're still trying to be lightweight but still have decent defenses, this is a standout option, especially when paired with this head, man. Nothing even comes close to this head. Look, we sort by AP. It's uh, it's only really outclassed by uh, like half the list. But we get enough AP from this, right? Where this thing really stands out and is a, a shiner is attitude stability. Top three, man. Then now the big downside to this head is uh, the system recovery, man. If you get zapped, you'll feel it on this thing. But luckily we're in the air, so the zappy guns are going to have a hard time getting to us. That's kind of the idea, right? Um, other options, you could run Kasuar. Um, and fun fact, if you put Kasuar and an RF on this uh, setup here, now it becomes tournament legal, fun fact. Uh, for the tournament we just ran, which we're probably going to be running more, so be on the lookout. But this is a nice tournament setup right here. Um, it does the same thing. It's just within the confines of the rules. Let's go back to where we were. Boom. Uh, and then weapons. We're actually going to start with the scutters. Um, these things are just consistent, man. you got to see it to believe it. Uh, these things do work. Um, two, like 230 meters and in is really your sweet spot. Um... You don't want to get closer than probably 100, though, I will say, because we are using the, the Walt. Um, so try and keep them at, at 230 to, to, to 160, I'd say, is like, like a good range to be fighting at. Um, but these things, man, they're just super consistent. When they land, they do a bunch of damage. And it's not like the Renetzi where you miss a shot and you're kind of like, fuck, you know? You, you, you can miss some shots because they're, they're, they're assault rifles. Um, Duo, this is just consistent DPS. You fire this thing off cooldown. Um, it's really good at range because when the missiles start uh, their second arc where they point in, right? So like here, the first arc, boom, second arc. They point in, right? They gain a lot of speed and they're a lot harder to dodge. Um, so these things are solid workhorses. And you may be wondering, why aren't we running these, right? They're lighter and they're more energy efficient. Here's the deal, man. Um, you are getting 50% more missiles for only an increase of uh, 0.8 seconds right 0.8 seconds and i have a full second um for getting 50 percent more damage so this is just uh in my opinion a better setup so we're running it and we have that we have the weight and energy to spare and then terreno this thing's like crazy man you gotta believe it because like the way you use this terreno is you don't fire this thing off cooldown right you'd be you'd be a little patient you either you wait for the stagger and get the huge punish with this thing if your if your scutters are down because the scutters have insane punish on stagger but if they're uh if they're staggered you don't have scutters they're reloading you fire this thing off or man you wait for them to uh, to try and come up and catch you because you're gonna be playing aerial they come up and try and catch you and then when they start falling to the ground you just let this thing fucking rip right as you see them falling that's your telegraph that they're out of en they've redlined they won't have any en to dodge um, it's almost guaranteed every single time. You'll see me do it in this video, man. You see guys start to fall. I go, Traino, bing, hit him. They can't dodge it. It's really devious, man, because it's like, 
normally you just quick boost to get out of the way of this thing. But if they don't have quick boost because they're they're dry trying to get up to in the air to you, it's free. Uh, also, if someone's like boosting at you, you can like backpedal, 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 let them burn their EN with assault boost, and then when they come out of assault boost, you ping them with it again, right? Shit like that. So just little good uh, tips here and there to use this thing and get the most out of it. It's a really good EN punish tool. You're almost managing their EN. All right, that's all the freaking weapons. Let's uh, move on to the duels. Enjoy, guys. All right, guys. I'm not gonna lie. I missed what he was running, but we're gonna find out when we get close enough anyways oh looks like 16's on a knock better not the best yeah it's 16 this guy does not know how to do 16 that's how far away he's firing from and double laser drums i'm just gonna play the aerial game kind of makes me take when he gets in close we're gonna let him come to us oh uh, yep, yep. dodge 16s we can just sit at his range and he's gonna have a really hard time doing anything to us with that three punish him and boom, dodge a 16. We just really have to stay out of his range and he can't do anything to us. Those 16s, when I mean, they're super punishing, they'll one-shot stagger this frame, but, you know, only if you know how to use it. Um, he's not mixing in any assault boosts. He's not trying to get up to me and play out at my height. He's never going to hit anything. Oh, there we go. There's something. Coral gem, though. He's going to get dry. Watch him go dry and fall. Shoot this. Oh wow, that actually went quite a bit of distance. Must be that Coral Gen knocker, Pops armor. Not a problem. Yeah, man, must be the uh, the NGI Jenny. So we're just gonna go up, man. And we're gonna, yeah. Doesn't have anything, man. And we're gonna shoot this floor to me, Fall flat down. I'm gonna play the floor because he's stuck in the air. Man, this guy's just struggling here. Boost over his head. Get back in the air. Shoot this while he's falling. Hit the free punish, and he goes down. Pretty textbook, man. He just doesn't know how to use his frame. Good match, though. All right, guys. We're fighting against a Bazooka Chach on a Tetrapod. But it's a light Tetra, so it's not that bad. But he's using double Bazooka, so he is that bad. Uh, I'm not sure what the game plan here is, to be honest. I think up close. But also, it's really easy to dodge the Bazooka at range. But he also has a Traino, which could really throw a spanner in the works for our range but we're gonna try range first oh, don't stagger fire gonna reload oh coral shit look chalk it's crazy i'm just gonna rat him out actually fuck it I'm gonna upset him yeah good luck look at that dude hold this yeah really unfortunate hold this oh and of course Tag yeah, I think we just played a range game. Glad we decided to come behind the building. And around the corner. Ah, he used the cover. Interesting. Popping armor now. Very bold choice. Yeah, I'm not out of the end, dude. Still have a bunch. Hold this. I still have my armor as well. I'm gonna get that Oh, I'm falling to the earth, mighty man. Just kidding. Yeah. So, this thing really picks apart uh, that, and he's really not getting aggressive with it. So, he's going to have a hard time tagging us. So obviously, a couple will get through. Um, but another good tip on this build, right, is to feign uh, being dry by falling to the earth. Oh, he's a Hit, hold this. And fly close and get staggered. Oh, nice kick. Nice. I'm not gonna make a difference. Yeah, fly at me when you just expect burn your whole everything. Stupid. Yeah, that works for you, dude. Real, real skill player here. Rip Bozo. Take that, homunculus, frickin'. I swear, dude, all those Zimmy children swapped out the Zimmies for fucking bazookas when the patch hit. <laughs> a Gatling bunk build with a uh, songbird on the back. I'm just gonna tell you right now, folks, he's never gonna get a chance to put any of those weapons on ours. We're just gonna constantly be just out of his range. Um, unless he has a 20C and a, a booster that allows him to play aerial, he's gonna be just shooting at nothing. Yep, and a moonlight. Yep. And fire this when he falls to the ground. Get our free punish. 
float back up into the air, let him burn his Gatling heat. Yeah, he's not hitting anything. We'll just shoot three shots on him. We'll just rise up, fall as he rises. Go back into the air. Moonlight tag just once, it's okay. Oh, and we went into the wall. Damn shame. <laughs> yeah, he's having a hard time, probably. And we'll fire this off. Now he's staggered. We're gonna slow boost back up, we just go up over his head and back. Ooh, he tagged into the bong. Good movement from him. But it's too little too late. We'll see if he changes it up in round two. Just wasn't enough. Alright. And same tactic, assault boosting out of where she go up. Looks like he has a uh yeah, it's not gonna touch us. And he's falling down. Oh free, yeah. Trut wants to charge his moonlight. That's a free uh what's it called? Over his head and back. We'll tag a moonlight, that's okay, that's again that's we're gonna let this right as he falls. And he's burning his gatling, we're gonna back up and go up. Just stay out of range of that gatling. Songbird misses, let this rip when he's staggered, get a huge punish. And dog the moonlight. And he goes down with the scudders. Not bad. Um Yeah man, I think the Gatling's a really bad weapon. I think you should just run the, the Chom Chen instead. <laughs> Against a missile chotch with a uh what's it called? The majestic. Truly the pinnacle of skill there. Um and I'm sure he has RJ's only so he can spam kick. Uh we have RJ's on for the movement, but also so we can have the kick in the tool belt. But builds like that, I have a, I have an inkling of what he's gonna do. They're gonna have a pretty easy time dodging all this shit. We can have a hard time dodging ours. Oh, uh, or if we get caught, we can do the back of man. Oh, for Christ's sake! Ah, that just sucks, dude. We might have get close to this guy. And we got the kill. So I thought he was going to be kick spamming uh, cheese dick, but I think actually we just get in the inside after some quick testing. I think the the aperitifs and soups is too much pressure to play distance. So we're just going to go aggressive on this guy. Suck on that. And we have our energy back to quickly like that again. And he's staggered. Yeah, that's fine. Let's really just... You're not looking too hot, but we... Strong. Epic missile build isn't working, dude. Damn shame. Damn, and we killed him before he even got staggered. So there you go. It works against missile rat, uh, floater majestic boys. <laughs> With a lot of AP to spare. Well, Renetsu build. Uh, with a shield on the left shoulder. Uh, the trick against these builds where they want to try and outkite you, we have Scudders and a Waltman. We are much scarier up close than they are. We also got the other RJ kick. We're going to press the advantage and get on his tail. Uh, that's really like, this is why this thing's cool, man. You you can outkite most builds and you can't outkite them. I can bring the fight for that. You're fast enough. He did not want to scrap it up. Drop the shield. Oh! We're okay. We have the frame to stand. Land the kick. Perfect. And we're gonna bounce. Stick on him. It's okay because we're eating all these staggers, but our punish is so crazy. Look at that, he's almost dead. We're gonna pop our own as well. And like, he's coming out of meet us. It's a really foolish choice. Circle boost and pop ult at the same time. And we don't land anything, it's okay. And he goes down. 
That's the nice thing about this frame, man. You're a little tankier than the average kite build. Um, and you have that really gnarly kick. And man, Scudders and uh, and Walt, if you can keep them in close range, which like as you just saw, it's not that easy keeping them in close range. I got staggered a couple times. Um, if we can keep them in close range, uh, we can try and stick on to the and just going down, boom. And we don't quite miss who's falling, that's okay. See, this is where he's gonna get us when we're falling. And we wanna stay inside 130. We don't wanna get outside of 130, because that's where his target is better. We wanna stay at this 130. Now he's gonna pepper us, right? But he can't even hit us. At this, uh, but now he's at 300. But see, at 300, we're not even that worried. And we got him. Shoot that over the ridge. Nice. We're gonna get that kick here. Uh, I'm not gonna quite get it. That's okay. We don't need it. We can just sit within our range and just pepper him. We're gonna hold our armor as well until we get staggered. Or until we're almost dead. We're not that worried about his armor. Reaction armoring is a bad choice. You never want a reaction armor. Uh, we'll pop armor now. Now we're gonna assault this at him. And shoot this. And he's down. Yeah, so the trick against the kites, man, to, to counter the kite build is to get really aggressive. You have the tools for it. Creative build. He's on a full Basho frame, and I think I know what he's going for. I think he's trying to get the, the one-shot stagger with the Sweet 16s, and then he's going for the sword for the punish, the fist to extend out of the sword with enough time, like three fists, enough time to buy him another cooldown to get another blade off. I think he has like a crazy one-shot combo here. Uh, so our goal is to not get staggered. If we do get staggered, pop armor immediately before he can get that blade off. So we're gonna stay aerial against this guy. And just try not to let him execute on his plan here. And we land it. He's already going in for a so kind of, He's being the opposite though, see like he's landing those 16s even at range. And like he's gonna be out of the end and he shoots at him and he's falling too fast. He, he knows how to fast fall. You really gotta be careful against the guys that know how to fast fall. Missile's not doing any work. But that missile's not gonna get our defense punish. Oh, we're ricocheting. Watch out, it's really good defense, isn't it? Oh, he's starting to panic. He's shooting his 16s at like crazy range. Oh, he's melee chancing with a fist. Nice. Uh, unfortunately, the counter to melee is just uh, elevation, man. There's almost no weapons in the game that can deal with elevation as a melee. And he goes down. I don't even know if he pops his expansion. He must have assault armor as, the, as part of the combo, I'd imagine. Really creative build. Unfortunately, those those kinds of builds really fall apart uh, against aerial targets. Like uh, the pile bunker fist combo I have on the tetrapod. Uh, I've been really struggling against aerial targets too. Nice to dodge him as well. So I'm gonna fall fast, fall, dash, get out of the way of the 16. Shoot this at him. And they look next. We're gonna go on the offensive now, real quick. Shots off. Uh oh, shit. That was bad going in a stance for that. Firing that weapon. We're gonna boost over his head. Send him in the opposite direction. Yeah, he's in trouble. Yeah, we're gonna go up and over his head. And keep going up. Yeah. Stay out of range of those 16. Go forward and go up. There's the armor. I'm gonna pop ours just in return. We're almost staggered, so it's actually really good timing. I'm gonna reload. Go up, over his head, and back over his head. He's trying to circle through. And we're just gonna shoot at him. Boom. Dead. Absolutely pieced up. Really cool build, but unfortunately, this is like those kinds of builds Kryptonite is aerial maneuver. Interesting build. Earshot, Huxley, what I think is a Rebula, and probably a Redshift on a cool like Voltron frame. I actually really like it. Um, it's, you know, it's cool having a cosplay. Uh, and this guy was on grid 86 and I thought that would be a cool map to show off like what you can do when there's a ceiling, right? Cause like people think grid 86 is like the best map to fight against kites. Um, but I will say man, the thing is taller than you'd expect and there's actually enough cover in here if you think about it. Oh, we already charging that shit. Okay. I only keep one, that's okay. Oh, gotta get off the ground for your shot. Yep. Oh, I'm in trouble. Pop him over. This guy actually lands his ship. That's great. Hold on. I might have to lock in. Kind of like sticking around the whole night, but it might require some focus. I'm gonna get a max punch here. Man, his frame is crazy. He's out of the way of the moonlight. I think 
Yes. I'm not sure what that is. Back, I think it's missing. Yeah, another Huxley. Get an earshot. Missile Huxley. Alright, we're just gonna let that bleed off. We're not we're just gonna go for the earshot here. And he goes down. Really cool build, actually, and he's playing it pretty well. It's kind of a mishmash of random shit. Um, but he's piloting it good. I think if he kind of distills down to what he really needs, right? Like, have a game plan to keep people out of the air, right? Some sort of aerial denial. You gotta incentivize guys to come down. Forward, forward, left, and he can get your shot. Forward and left. And it misses. So, he doesn't your shot, getting so on the ground for a second. And it's gonna punish him He's trying to get close. I don't want to do that. Yep, going out, and he's gonna miss Shot from the neutral, not gonna hit without being in the air, and we got him down with the uh, freaking scudders, man. Good match, we played it well. All right, guys, we are fighting someone who has uh, two stagger extension weapons, a ducket, and a <laughs> a uh, what's it called? The pile bunker. Before he loaded in, he had a 16 instead of the ducket, so it was three stagger extension weapons. It's pretty clear what he's going for. Um, he's looking to really extend that stagger with all of his tools. Fortunate for him, he's just not going to get that far. He's not going to be able to close the gap uh, to even be in range of us. We're just going to sit up here and fire. Uh, we're going to reload. We're too far. 400 meters is not enough. We need to get within 200. Right here. Let's see, we're still at Shen. We're going to go up. We're going to tag by the Zimmerman. That's okay. We can afford it as Zimmerman shot. We're fall straight to the earth. Backpedal. This guy actually doesn't move bad. I'm going to kick him. See, he can't risk getting kicked. He has to divert. I'm gonna shoot this off. And it misses. That's not a problem. We're just gonna go up now. Saving our EN for when he comes at us. And we're out of his range. Look, he's gonna fall to the earth. So we can just stay up here. He can't really do anything. Shoot this. He can come up. We go down. Back away. Actually, quick use it on the ground. That would have been way better. Fire this off. Can tag him. Oh, it doesn't. Wow. Over his head. See, he actually knows how to cut off his quick boost, or his quick boost, his assault boost early. And yes, yeah, he's going for the bump. Cheeky, but no, enough. He's in trouble now. We're going to back up on the ground and just jump him down. And we're going to jump now over his head again. Go back the other way. And he goes down. Um, yeah, he's not, his movement's not bad. It's just, uh, I don't think most players, when they kite, they just go up and back. They also don't hold their EM um, when someone's coming at them. You know, if he's gonna slide at me, I'll play the ground game. But you know, the cool thing about this build is the 20C. Like, someone's waiting. I'm going up. The neutral moonlight gray. Go over his head again. Fall and shoot this. Catch him. And go back. And to the left. Dodge the second one. You know, so if he's gonna jump and back, go back. Go up. So, narrow margin there, but it's not a big deal. We're gonna fire this off. And get some punishing. And he's gonna have to come to us. We're gonna regen our hand. Go up. And over. Go dodge the second one. And over his head. Fire this off right at him. Go back that way. Any swarm that might hit us. Nope. Just outside the range. Drop and go back. And jump and let this rip into his face. And to the left. And hit him with the last shot to tag him. Yeah, like I said, pretty pretty obvious what he's going for. Um, he just doesn't have quite enough movement uh, skill to catch us. All right, guys. Uh, I'm running a, a rematch against this uh, Ryukyo guy because he's actually running something kind of crazy. He has laser drones and, and a worker and a pistol, so I'm pretty curious to see if this uh, if this thing is ha is something there. So I thought I'd film it. He's just taking shots with the worker. Oh wow, he's fast. Okay, we might have to make some kicks to get him off of. Holy cow, this thing's kind of big, dude. This is what this thing's crazy. Wait, this thing was super cool. Hold on, wait, watch this. Sometimes it takes you good to get you off the axe, you know, you have to get past them if they dodge it and now you're going the other direction. Ah, I think I need to go aerial against this guy. Let him burn down to 20 seats. But it's hard though, because when you go in the air, those, those drones take a start. Oh, dude, this is crazy! It's like a laser light show, dude, what the fuck? This is kind of badass kick. It doesn't quite, oh, it does connect, nice. And, pop with that and get our punish, but we're almost, we're almost staggered. We gotta play really crazy right now. Go boy. I'm watching my stagger bomb more than I'm watching him right now, to be honest. I'm trying to hold my armor to the last second. Boom. No, dude, the, the uh, what do they call the, uh, trainers are so dangerous. I'm, oh, I'm staggered, yep, armor. 
the armors too. The Tyrannos are so dangerous because those drones will eat me alive. Alright, dude. Okay, I'm really glad I decided to, uh, to record the runback because usually I just give them the runback just because. And I don't bother even recording because it's like, you know, if I win the first game, they're probably not going to come up with some crazy idea. But this, um, this thing looked interesting. So I was like, man, you know what? It looks cool, neat, interesting looking. Maybe there's something there, man. And I'm so glad I did that ass. And yeah. So the energy generator gets punished really hard by the... Oh man, I almost can't talk. There's so much going on. This thing is so cool. I really like this build. And line him up and knock him down. And get a huge scutter punish. And get the pick. Do it. Do it. That's okay. You just gotta play. Oh man. I'm gonna get the part here. Oh, pop armor. We're gonna get... Yeah. Wait, this guy's so patient with his armor too. This guy's actually really good. Oh man, yeah, so look, we stand still to fire off our trainos. We get eaten alive, man. Oh, we get him to the armor. But wow, what a build, man. It's so visually striking fighting against it, especially in here. Look at that. That's super cool. I'm glad I recorded this run back.